Hey guys, in this video I'm going to try to explain how to install the new uh, sample data. So uh, as you can see here, uh, this is a clean installation and uh, if you access the uh, backend of uh, your installation, go to Kalia's theme and dashboard. You have these um, uh, settings right here, these uh, server settings. You would want to make sure all are uh, okay. In my case, uh, the debug mode is uh, activated, so it's no problem for me. It shouldn't be for you, but uh, I hope you know what you're doing. In a, in a live website, it's better to leave it uh, uh, disabled. So uh, now in uh, this um, uh, dashboard, go to import sample data. And you can see here the uh, actual demos uh, listed. Um, new demos will uh, keep coming and uh, you can install as many as you want. Of course, I don't recommend installing all of them, but uh, you know, it's whatever you want so um, first thing you should know is that the images videos and other media are not included mostly for uh, copyright uh, issues but also because of the uh, sample data import process uh, usually um, doesn't work for uh, big uh, for lots of images or uh, big uh, uh, sample data packages so it's just one image used for everything uh, in the website I'll just give you a brief example what uh, what I mean uh, please know that some web hostings do have uh, issues and uh, they simply don't connect with our server. Uh, I will probably post a, a quick, uh, quick tutorial on how to install the uh, sample data on your local host and then migrate uh, your local host website to your uh, live server. So right now I'm going to install. It's going to last for a few seconds. I probably cut this part. As you can see, the uh, sample data has uh, finished installing. This uh, alert will uh, prompt you. Just and we're going to the uh, front end. I'm going to refresh, and as you can see. Uh, there's this uh, red image which is uh, uh, added to any element in the website like I said for uh, optimization uh, purposes uh, this icon is added for any uh, element that is using the icon and that's about it uh, if you do have problems with uh, importing the sample data um, there are several workarounds for example you might uh, you might simply uh, import just a part of uh, the sample data and you will probably notice that going to the menus you either won't have any menu here or uh, the main menu will be incomplete and that's because um, the some uh, hostings and some servers have uh, this um, uh, limitations in terms of uh, uh, data usage so it depends on the servers and like I said, if you do have problems with uh, uh, the installation, you can uh, try installing first on your local host. And uh, if you're not familiar with the local host environment, 
you can download the map for example which is a local server or uh, this is for Mac for Windows there's a uh, XAMPP or VAMP and they pretty much do the same thing and when installing on your uh, computer then you can install the uh, WordPress and um, and then uh, install the sample data now the trick is to migrate the website from a local host to your online server for example look for the plugin called duplicator and you can see this plugin right here and it it'll basically make a clone of your uh, website another plugin is uh, all in one migrate this one which is very powerful and you can use these plugins to back up your website and clone it and uh, push it on your uh, server online and there you should have the entire uh, the website with the sample data of course if all doesn't work if it does it's great <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, ask me or uh, go to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching see you in the next one